Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company. And um, well, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm being a little sheepish today because I have a ridiculously massive Dollar Tree haul. I went into Dollar Tree. I was like, I'm going to go to a couple of Dollar Trees. I doubt I'll find anything, you know. I doubt I'll find anything. And indeed, for like the first 10, 15 minutes wandering around the first Dollar Tree, I was like, I'm not finding, I'm not finding anything. And then I did. And then I did. I blame Kate. She was distracting me on the phone. So, I'm going to jump in and get started. There is a massive amount here. There is some repetition. So, I, uh, you know, I want to make sure that I show you everything. Um... Some of it, I'm just getting really excited about some of the different things that I'm doing. What, where did I put that thing? I put something aside that I wanted to show you. I buried it, I think. I did. Okay, I'll show you that later. All right, I'm just going to jump in and grab some things um, and, and get going. I have no earrings on today to show you. I just forgot to put them on. It's Saturday. It's been a long week. Um. I'm going to start with my little, this is one of my favorite low calorie treats because each of these little rolls is 40 calories. There is no sodium, um, just a few carbs, 2% uh, added sugar. So it's just a really simple, um, slightly sweet. It do, it's not terribly sweet. It's, it's got a little slightly sweet, slight sweet slight sweetness to it but it is a really good snack for me to have that doesn't you know that that's okay for me to have so when i'm feeling the need for something sweet which i do because i love sweet i just do um that's something i can have so i bought two of those to put uh to put in the pantry i found there's more in here than, than this i'm putting the bags away as i go um I found these fabulous containers. I've been looking for these. I was super excited to find them. They have different colors. Um, they had like a green and I think a blue and something else. Um, and this lovely pink. I actually would prefer them if they just did clear. I don't know if they do clear. I haven't seen them, but again, this was the first time I saw these. So I'm very excited about these. I have a lot of, you know, I've, I've got a lot of things that I need, smaller-ish containers. Um, and these are also good for things, for some other things, um, like flashcards and things that I use with my junk journals. And uh, I'm going to, I'm getting my junk journaling back up and running, and I'll tell you about that in a little later. Later, I'll tell you later. Um, uh, my goal is to start doing a once-a-week junk journal, but it's been my goal. So things are a little bit more settled. We're not going away every weekend. This was the first weekend we've been home for the weekend in more than a month, I think. But then again, next weekend, I have a show, and I may have a show the following weekend, starting to gear up for my shows. So I try, my my plan, my goal for my shows is to really just do one a month until it's Christmas time. January, um, November, uh, December, that's a little different. That's when, you know, I want to gear up on my shows, but... Anywho, diving back into this. So, found those. I don't even know what's in some of these. Oh, I actually, I found these and I used one. So, this is this little um, stain remover wipes. These things are actually fabulous. So, I picked them up because I was, we were out in about, I think, a weekend or two ago. And I, of course, spilled something, as I often do. And, um, you know, I just wanted to get it so it didn't look so bad. And this worked like a dream. It, it cleared it right up. So I'm going to keep these in my purse. They come in these nice little um, pouch. So you can actually rub it on. Um, and uh, let's see, you get 12 pouches in here. So like I said, it worked. That's all I ask. If, it's, if it does what it says on the tin, I'm good with it. Um... Oh, I bought some of the, uh, their new, sh the, what is it? The Shore, uh, Shore Living placemats. I bought three of these, uh, because I want to do another bag or, see, I want to do a tote bag. 
but I think that I want to do it lengthwise. So that I think that to me, that's going to be too skinny. Um, this is kind of a nice bag if you're going to be uh, almost like a beach bag. Um, I bought three so that I would have this one to use if I wanted to use it for in between the two sides. And I just haven't decided what I'm doing with that yet. If I, I'll, I'll use it one way or the other, but I very much enjoy finding different uses for things. And I there's a whole series of things out there. There's a whole series of videos out there on using placemats uh, to create bags and tote bags and other things. So I kind of wanted to look back at that and sort of try it out a little bit, see what happens. Oh, I got these only because they're gaming socks. And I know little Brit had said he didn't need any socks and then promptly put a hole in some. So I said, I'm, I'm just gonna keep getting socks. And put it, he likes the, the different kinds. Um, the different options. So he does like that. He was just, yeah. I took him shopping the other day. He has never enjoyed clothing shopping. Never. Never. And um, oddly, so we we actually went into a thrift store to look for um, pieces for a project that he's working on at school. Uh, they have to use found and recycled. And, and I'm actually, you know, the teacher. And uh, so I told the students anything because of the way the project is, they need to use recycled, found and recycled 90% of the project. But I also said to the kids, I would accept something purchased at a thrift store as found and recycled because it kind of is. Um, and that had actually been a question from one of the other students in a different class. So I said, that was fine. So when um, when Little Brit heard that, he said, let's stop and take a look. And we did, and we, we found... I think one thing for his project, it was like uh, blue cray paper. They're doing, um, they are trying to reinvent an African city to support two tribes. Um, it's from a long walk to water. Uh, and so the idea is that they're going to be supporting both tribes in this city. So the tribes have their own areas as they become more accustomed to each other. Uh, but they have to find a way to maintain the water supply. That's the biggie for this whole village. So they're, so they're actually creating a model of a village. I think I just turned my hearing aid down. They're actually creating a model for the village. Um, but they have to, they have to find a new, a way to supply the water. So that's one of the biggies. Um, but they have to, you know, it's a model. So they want to show the water. I'm going on. Um, anyway, we're there. We're looking at this. That's great. And then as we're about to walk out, I'm like, yeah, I can't keep the kid in jeans. I mean, I could, we could go buy him new jeans if, if he wanted, but he grows so fast. This year, I'm sure he's shot up a more than a foot, maybe a foot and a half. I know we've gone through, he started the school year wearing like a size seven and a half shoe. And now he's wearing about a 10, 10 and a half. So we've gone, so, we, you know, every time it goes up, we've got to buy him new shoes. So I was like, let me just see if they possibly have any jeans. He is so skinny, but he needs, he, you know, he's got height. He's as tall as I am and I'm 5'11". Or no, I'm 5'9". I'm 5'9". <laughs> I don't even know anywhere. I'm 5'9". So he's my height, possibly a titch taller. And he just turned 13. Anyway, we're looking for jeans. I was like, let me just see, because if I can find some, because you go through them so quickly. I, if, I'll take him shopping for new ones if he wants new ones. Anyway, we're there. I know, long story. We're there. I'm kind of looking, and I don't want any of those, Mom. I don't like those. And he doesn't really like jeans. Most jeans. There are a few that he does. He found one pair that he did like, but it wasn't going to work for him. Um, and then he started looking through the pants. And he likes things that are kind of you know, kind of cool. He likes, he likes to dress in suits. He found a pair of suit pants that had the cuff at the bottom. They were really nice, but there's no way I could take them in enough. He's just too skinny. So even though they weren't huge, they would have been huge on him. Then he started looking through the shirts. Then he's asking me, you know, which ones are good quality. We found some Brooks Brothers. Um, he found one Brooks Brothers. He's like, ah, and I said, oh, look, you can, you know, it's got the, the cuff so that you use the, uh, the cuff links. Oh, I want that. I'm sorry, it was so fun shopping with him when he's actually interested in the clothes. We stayed for about a half an hour as he went through the clothes and really was feeling and trying to find 
good quality. Um, I've never been one who has a problem with thrift stores because I feel strongly that we throw away way too many clothes. You know, I like brand new clothes, but some of those, literally we found brand new clothes with the tags. So anyway, moving on, Dollar Tree. I'm so sorry I went off, I digress. Let me know if you'd like, I just got every, put everything in the washing machine. We ended up getting a bunch of shirts and some nice things. And, um, if you're interested in seeing our thrift store finds, let me know. And I'm happy to share them before I send them off into his closet where they will, you know, inevitably disappear into his room. Okay, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, 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 oh okay. So, can I get this out? Um, I found another one of these. I don't think I had purchased the pink one. This is... Um, not a Dollar Tree brand. It's mixed materials by uh, Dimer Sales. But it's supposed to be all found and recycled and, you know, again, waste uh, made from wheat straw. I thought it was recycled. Yeah, 100% happy. Eco Claw Sustainable Materials. That's what it was, Sustainable Materials. So um, I bought one of these before and they are nice and strong. Oh, very strong almost too strong okay so that one was good it has to be strong to hold my hair i did find this i have i don't know if you all have noticed that i have been using a lip gloss when i see you all um and so i thought i would try this one we're going to try it on in a minute i did i've been using the peach one that i found at one of them it's just called peach it's supposed to be like very light look to it it's somewhere, and I'm pretty sure I buried it under here when I put this, so many bags, when I put all these bags up here. So this one is LA Colors. I don't know. I always get nervous about new makeup and materials and things. And I always smell it. Oh, I just got, let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, doesn't really show up at all, does it? I can't get that. So, maybe a slight tinge to it. That's not bad. I'm I'm not someone who who's going to go for overpowering. I never do pink. I never do pink. <laughs> um, I'll do like a maroon almost, or this isn't bad. So that, again, this was a um strawberry kiwi and that's what i'm that's kind of like the the scent from it this the the i would say taste but i'm trying hard not to taste it the scent from it but i found more of these cute little guys these are so cute oh my word so what i want to do is some simple little um smaller zipper bags and use these or maybe some little wallets for kids and use these as kind of the center piece to them or the flap the flap would be good so i thought those were fun i picked up a few of these you get these are two packs which is great so this is the shore living um and this one is uh sea sand sunshine this one is wish upon a starfish um, so I have an idea for a project with these where this would be the back of it. Um, and then I'm making kind of a pouch in the front. So when you look in, you see this, but you have kind of that nice cushiony. We'll see how it works. That is something I'm, I'm working on prototypes for different things. And so we'll see how that one works. Um, I told you about, yeah, I did tell you all before I found more Elvis socks. These are for me just cause they're fun. They're Elvis socks. Um, and I did find Mountain Dew socks. When I find the green ones, um, I'm going to pick up a couple because I didn't have enough. There were a couple of Griffin's, of, of Little Brit's friends, um, that, oh, Big Brit's home. Y'all probably saw them come up before I did. Um, there were a few of Little Brit's friends who couldn't make it to his party. And so I wanted to put a few of those aside because I, all of the kids are just really into these Mountain Dew socks. Okay. anything that makes them happy um i did pick up this was a dollar tree so this is matt christopher world cup um this is one that we actually have in the media center 
It's a popular one. It's one of the popular books. Matt Christopher writes all sorts of kids, um, kind of young adult, sports-based books. This is, I believe, not, let's see, yeah, this is a nonfiction uh, but this one I can't keep in my media center. I thought for a buck twenty-five I'm going to buy it because normally I'm spending. I don't know. I can I can find out by trying to pull away this sticker. It was six ninety-nine, so I can deal with that. Um, so I just bought one. They had several, but I'm trying really hard not to purchase for the media center um, at the moment because I spend too much money on the media center. Um, and then I also found this uh, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes and the Instrument of Death. Um, the World's Greatest Detective Returns. So I just thought this was fun. Uh, I am going to put this away with um, books for the stocking event. Because I collect, right now, I just I find a lot of books for the stocking event and put those away. Um, they're always a big hit with my family. We're a bunch of readers. Um, Big Brit and I have an entire library upstairs. So when I say we're big readers, we, we really are big readers as much as we can. As much as we can. So, oh, this was fun. I forgot about this. One of these bags has actually been sitting here for, oh, a week or two. I mean, we picked it up and then, um, and then life, and then life. Just got <laughs> so much going on. So this was fun. I picked this up from their new summer section. Uh, mostly I picked it up for the beads. Because uh, that's a lot of nice um, beads to use on, on a couple of different projects. Uh, sorry, that's my eye. Um, so I'm really thinking about using maybe a combination of three of those uh, with my zipper bags, uh, my zipper pouches on the end to, as a pull. And maybe like a, not this, but maybe like a simple, I kind of like the idea of that little fabric maybe or a ribbon on the end of it. Um, just something different for a zipper pull. So... I was, so I bought that one and this nice one with the different colors of pink. And then you got this flamingo and I'll figure out something fun to do with the wooden pieces at the end. I just got one of each here. We've got a pineapple. And again, this one's got like the green, the yellow, and the, that's almost off white. That's not white like the other one. And then the last one is the watermelon. Aren't these fun? These are so fun. And then you've got the green, the white, and the red Oh, see bad. Um, so I'm pretty happy with these. I really felt like I didn't need more than one each because it's going to yield quite a few um, <sighs> beads. <laughs> it's going to yield quite a few beads. So I thought one each was enough. Um, and then I did buy more Elvis socks just for fun. And, um, oh, I had never seen these before there. I'm not sure I've ever seen these at all. Uh, ultra washable Bic Kids markers. So I went ahead and picked up just one pack of these. I want to try them out. I just don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm very untrusting about um, markers often, um, how long they last, how quickly they dry out. I tell you what, students are not great about putting the caps back on. Um, and then I just bought this sunglass clipper for the, I just wanted something simple, but I like the black for the car. Um, mostly these are for Big Brent because that man loses his glasses, his sunglasses. I tell you what, if it's something that's supposed to go on his head, he'll lose it. He takes them off and puts them down somewhere because he's not using them for that instant and they're gone. The only thing that lasted him, I bought him a very, very nice pair of sunglasses, but I made sure it was one that had like the, the thing that goes around your neck. He actually held on to those for maybe two years, which was record for him. You know, two months is record for him. I love him, but okay, let's see what's next. What do we show you next? Um, oh my word. So I... I ran into a whole bunch of stickers. I mean, a whole bunch of really, I think they're really nice stickers. This one I'm pretty sure I've had before. I think I have this in my stock, but I really like it. And I thought, 
this is great for the beginning of school, but it's also really fun for the end of the school year, which is coming. So anything except for maybe the back to school, this would be really cool for end of the year. So I'm gonna do something with that. Haven't decided what yet. Um, and then some of these. Now, some of these I'm gonna show you, I've seen. Not all of them. So this is, once again, this is their shore, shore living. Um, this one is more subdued. I like that one a lot. I like how they pop. I love that scallop shell and the lighthouse. I'm looking forward to using some of these. I like that boat. Look at how cool that boat is. So those were all super fun. Finding a whole bunch of, of um, I, it's been a while since I bought stickers at Dollar Tree. Um, I found, I'm not going to hold off off to the end. It's, as I get to it, um, and what something I'll reflect in the title, I found some very nice brand name stuff. Very nice. Um that I'm going to hold on to for a minute. I can't get to it yet. Uh, well, I mean, but talking about name brands, so this, so the Elvis socks, I hauled these once before, but I went ahead and grabbed a, a couple more, uh, mostly because I'm going to make holders for these for um, um, my upcoming shows. I think Barbie is still kind of on its way um, upwards. People are looking for Barbie materials at the moment. So I just want to make sure I have some, and I love the Barbie stuff. Um, I did buy this. I don't know that I've seen this one before. Have y'all seen this one before? These little clothespins. These are really cute. So these are um, not quite two inches, and you get 22 of them. You get 22 of them in a pack. These are super cool. Um, again, don't know what I'm going to do with it. This was actually from when we went to the uh, Future City competition um meeting that was kind of fun it was in the car i grabbed it. i was like why is it still in the car and i grabbed it oh okay here's more stickers i need more stickers in here let me grab these stickers so i have certainly had these before but i think they're beautiful and i want to put them on some of the things that i'm working on let's see i also thought i wanted to find the rest of those look how cute these are these are just adorable. I love all the different dogs, but look at the corgis. They're so cute. The dachshunds. These are really adorable. And that you basically get, you know, the set on front and the set in back. And I think there's some repetition. So I think that, that you get two of each on the front and two of each on the back. As I'm looking for it at them, I see the repetition in the, in the uh, design. Um, and then I found these super adorable and oh my gosh I don't think I've ever seen this set these are so fun and uh, so I'm, because I'm doing some things for kids aren't these fun the, I love the pirate ones I went ahead and picked up the the vehicle one we've got a princess one I love that Oh, more of the really cool, um, these are certainly more elegant, I think. So the elegant butterflies and, uh, that one good. I, think I showed you the butterflies with that one. And then I found these. Now we do wax stamps, Little Brit and I do, but that's a whole series of them. And what I plan on doing with these, so I've got more, I'm in the process of making more of my little um, um, uh, sticky note little books. Um, and I thought these with like a simple ribbon on the top would be pretty elegant also. So trying to do some things that are fun and some things that are elegant. What I'm finding is the with those, the more elegant ones, the, the more feminine ones sell better than kind of the kitschy type stuff. I love the kitschy stuff. I think it's fun. And I've seen a few kids, but really it, it's not what sells. Um, not for me, at least. Not for me. Um, and it may just be that what else I have at my booth, that that's what it is. So I am pretty darn sure that these are new. 
Look at how cool those are. These are much smaller than the other ones. Look at that bicycle. That is so fun. That bicycle reminds me of my, um, uh-oh. Do you see who's in the background? I think he's trying to scare me. He probably doesn't know that I know. Yes, I see him. And if I didn't, the dogs would give him <laughs> I see you. It's Saturday and he's on call, so he has to work today. Um, so here we go. Aren't those boots cute? Hello, everyone. What? Are you Pee Wee Herman today? Oh, I'm just being nuts. I've had a nutty day. <laughs> yes, all right, doggos, move. Mush, mush. He can't get out because the dogs are standing off, no, like on his feet. On you, I don't want to. Okay, so here we have some really cute, um, cute ones. Are they cute? Oh, cute, cute, cute ones. We have cute, cute, cute flamingos. <laughs> Okay, maybe I use cute too much. Now we've got some parrots. Just a very tropical vibe. I wonder if these were meant to be with the tropical stuff. But maybe not because then you get the succulents. So there you go. I've been, um, I've, I have watched the Bridgertons. Love, if you haven't watched that series. Oh my goodness, on Netflix. Watch it. If you have, watch it again. Oh my word. It's been so fun. Little Brit has really enjoyed it. I just have to, I have to send him out of the room during a couple of the scenes. He's not that old. There are a few scenes, you know, that, that you would have to remove a young child or even, you know, his age child. But most of it is just really fun. And he likes sort of, he likes hearing the, the British accent. He just doesn't hear it enough. I mean, other than from his dad. He would certainly like to hear it more. So I put that one out of the way. Um, I found more of this glowing. I love this series. I do. I think this glowing stuff. Um, so this is the facial cleanser. I've been using the, I don't use it every day and I should because I just sometimes forget. But I've been using the, um, the um, under eye one and then the facial cream. And I think they're really good. They don't leave a bunch of residue behind. And I just think they're really good. So I'm going to try the facial uh, cleanser with it. This is Global Beauty, which is another brand. Global Beauty might actually be a Dollar Tree brand. I see too much of it in their stores. But even if it is, that's okay. <clears throat> so I find it here. I'm just trying to sort through everything. Um, okay, this was super fun. I found this in the uh, Shore Living section. And it's got a, it, not wooden, it's got the plastic top to it. So I kind of like that because honestly you could use it as a cup, but you could also just use it as a vase. Um, the one thing I will say, my stipulation here is I need to go back and get some more um, lead testers because before I allow my child to use this, I'm gonna make sure that we don't have a lead issue. I don't know. Um, that might just be, I mean, I know that years ago Dollar Tree got in trouble for some issues. I have no idea if that's ever been an issue since then, but I have a long memory. So it makes me nervous. Um, so I always, you know, I, I have a tendency to test all of their food stuff and I haven't had a problem with it. So I'm just a nervous Nelly. Okay. What's next? I'm looking through these bags. So... Well, I got a lot of that. Okay, so I did pick up a couple more of these. And these are just the um, folding baskets. As a matter of fact, I'm going to open them and use them. So they are super simple. Um, they're $1.25. I don't expect a huge amount from them. They do what they say on the tin, which is they snap together very easily. Not always as well as they should. There we go. So it's now snapped together and I have a nice little container for a few of the things that I'm gathering here. So I'm actually going to put these inside. 
just to get some control off of the mess that it's now sitting in front of me. So all the socks go in. Um, okay, so that's one little set. I'll do the next one in a minute. Uh, so next I want to show you some name brand socks that I found. Now, I did show you the Elvis socks. I've shown you some Elvis socks before. There's like, think, I want to say there are three different kinds. And at this point, I think I have all of them. Um, and I think I've shown them to you. I think I've shown them to you. Um, so next, these are so fun. Um, now a pair of these are definitely for Big Brit and a pair of them I'll put in the stocking. I bought three of them. They had tons. I did. I never buy all of them. Um, I only buy what we're going to use. So of course the Garfield socks, and these are true name brand Garfield socks. Definitely my Big Brit really likes Garfield. Um, he says that he has found some of these. Now, I don't know whether it's these or some of these, but some of the other kind of name brandy type stuff. The band at the top, that, but, and Little Brit has said this recently, and Little Brit's skinny. Um, he said the, the band at the top is just way too constricting. It's very tight. So they found that on a few pair. Not all of them by any means, but they have found them on, on more than one. So a couple, I think the Smurf one was very tight. Um, I want to say the Oreo one was really tight. Um, or so they told me. So I didn't find a whole lot of socks, but I did get the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Pretty sure I have this already. So this is for Little Brit. So I'm going to give that to Big Brit. So let me show what's in this bag. Let's try to get to this bag. Oh, my word. I told you I was huge. Just huge. Um, oh, this was fun. I did not find any new books today, which was, which was new. Um, the books that I showed you were from a previous haul. Um, but what I did find were magazines. These were right by the checkout. These are, I believe the Dollar Tree brand. This one actually says Travel Host on the back, but I think that might be whatever this company is. So... This one, well, I don't know. I mean, this one says it was originally $4.99. Pretty sure I didn't pay $4.99, but I'm going to check. Let's make sure I didn't pay $4.99 for that. I did not. Because everything on here is $1.25. So this little um, organizing magazine, um, I just thought this would be fun to take a look at and see what they're showing. And these next two, I have used, I have found these before. I use these in my junk journals. Um, and I did have one, uh, one of you guys, you, you all are so nice. And you ask me questions and I love it. Love it. Please comment, ask me questions, whatever you want. Um, asked about junk journals and I started writing a response and it was so long. I, I think I'm going to just attach a link to one of my videos that kind of walks through the whole thing. Uh, but I picked up these for junk journals. So this one is, um, you know, the Remind. This is, an, I think they're just taking old um, articles and things from TV Guides. Because TV Guide can repurpose those however they want. Um, but that's interesting. Look at that. I just talked about the Bridgertons. Huh. Look at that. Uh, but on this side, you've got, I mean, we, I used to watch the Carol Burnett show. I mean, I was pretty young, but I used to watch the Carol Burnett show. Um, so this has got a lot of great articles and things that are, um, they're not retro. I mean, they're uh, the articles, I believe, are fairly original to the time period. So you just have to find something that you think works well with with your junk journal. And I just love kind of the, the throwback. Oh, my word, the Lawrence Welk show. My father loved the Lawrence Welk show. And the rest of us hated it. We hated it. He watched that and he used to watch Glenn Campbell. When Glenn Campbell came on, no one could watch anything else. And I think it came on at like the same time as the Bionic Man or something. <laughs> I'm really aging myself right here on her. But there's that one. And then uh, the Book of TV Trivia. 
This is another TV Guide magazine, which is very interesting. So you're going to find things. Let's see if I can find something that kind of throws you back. Gumby. Um, oh, Alf. What else is on here? Oh, my word. Do you remember the Bosom Buddies? Tom Hank. Wow. Okay, so there's a Lucille Ball. So you get a lot of original um, type pictures in here, and they're kind of the right, they're made on the right material, so to speak, the, the right stuff. So those are fun. I'm going to open the second one of these because a bunch of these um, stickers are going to fall on me. So I'm going to open this and put my stickers in there until I put them where they belong. Let's put this together again. I am so excited because the new Bridgerton um, is in May. The only shame is I know that I will... Um, well, no, they're, I think they're releasing them like one a week. So you can't just watch all of them. That's just wrong. More stickers. I have purchased this one before, but it is one of my favorites. I think these are fabulous. And I think they're good for any time of the year. I mean, that's one of the reasons I love these so much. You really can use these any time of the year. And you can do fun things with them. Like, that bear would be so cute if you made, like, a little party hat for him. That would be so cute. I found these alien ones. I thought they would be good for some kids who really like the outer space stuff. Let me put the... I mean, really, the stickers are falling. I don't think I showed you this one. So I did get some of the double-sided uh, tape. I actually bought that to use with my sewing because the um, when I as I'm using this uh, these well, I'll show you in a few minutes. But I'm using the canvases from Dollar Tree to make things. It's really fun, but I. You know, once you, when you poke a hole in them, that hole's going to be there. It's going to be really obvious, too. So I'm trying to be, figure out ways around that. Um, I did buy, I think, three of these metal um, rulers. Because the last time I bought rulers, they were wooden. I bought the first ones I bought for my students this year. Um, they broke every single one of them in under a week because they were, they were the plastic ones. And I had bought quite a few. Um... And, you know, it's middle school. And middle schoolers are not only tough on things, they're a little bit destructive. Um, I had a dry erase board on the tables in my steam section. And I had purchased a relatively expensive roll of dry erase like it sticks to the tables. And then I bought um, nice, um, like a Tiffany blue duct tape to go around it to kind of give it that nice edge and finish. And so since we've had some, uh, we've had a lot of classes in the media center, the doing class, not with me, with their teachers, and they have ripped it all up. It's been there for five years, so it's been there for a while, but they've ripped it all up. So it's middle schoolers. I had, I've said to them many times, guys, it's not, it's not fidget tape. <laughs> it's, it's not meant for you to fidget with it. But what can you do? So, um, oh, this is one. So I actually bought this for Little Bird for a project he's doing. That project that I was just telling you about that we bought something at um, the thrift store for. So that he needs because in, in the book, in the African villages, cows are wealth. So for them to include, uh, there, this one has a bunch of um, cattle in it. So this is for him to use on his project. I'll put that right there so you don't get it. Um, oh, here are the other rulers. So I only bought three of these. I only bought three because some of the, oh, I was telling you about the, <laughs> somebody said I jump around a lot. I do. It's just my train of thought. I hope it doesn't bother you, but I'm too old to change. <laughs> I'm just too old to change. So, um, you can mute me and just watch. Um, so the so I bought the plastic ones. They broke them all. Um, you they liked like flicking. They they were like bending them like they were bendy ones. They, and I, honestly, I think half the time they don't realize you can't bend stuff like that. 
it's going to break. And it did repeatedly. So the next ones I bought were wooden. And with the wooden ones, they like to slap it against the desk. Well, these are, you know, not heavy duty wooden rulers. You slap it against the edge of the desk and what happens? It breaks off and honestly becomes a flying hazard. I have high, high hopes for the metal ones. If these work, I'll go back and get more. Oh, I forgot I needed to buy some more of the uh, pliers. If I see them, I only saw them once. Um, for the for our 3D pens, you need like the little pliers at the end just to, to take the filament off when it's hot. Okay, so we got those. And then back to my junk journals, I found these. I'm going to show these to you. I am, just to tell you, if you want to fast forward, I am someone who's going to show you every single one of them. I think I've shown these to you before. I think we've had these once before. Um, but as I start, if I can get that open. There's like a little thing here to try to open it. Can you see that? But I don't see the edge to it. I like that they put something in, but it's not helpful if it doesn't have an edge. Just saying. Okay. There we go. I'm going to get into it. I promise. Promise. Um, okay, so these are just super fun. You got an ant ball. Oh, look at how these are just fun. So you have the word on the back. You can stick them into your junk journals just like this. Or you can, um, you know, use one either the, you know, either this side or this side, depending on what you need it for. And you could add some heavier duty um, paper to it to make it a journaling card. So some of these are just, they're really cute. They're very primary color-ish. They're very bright colors. So for me, I'd have to find the right that would be so cute in an Easter one. So with that one, that one would work. So fan, I'm trying to go quick. I'm going to go from the back. Sun, sock, shoe, what I will say, what I, I really prefer when I'm watching other people do this, um, I like it when they show me everything, which is why I show you everything. Um, I just, for me, I prefer it because then I actually see what, you know, what, if I'm going to buy them, I see what I'm going to buy. That's a cute ladybug. King. That does not look like Charles. <laughs> Jar. Hen. Cat, goat, frog, I like that fox, and a fish. So super cute, easy to use, and again, you can turn those into journaling cards, you know, just other uses. And the other one I got was numbers. I will, and I will give credit where credit is due, I actually saw this one um, on Crafty Girl, and... <laughs> She was, she showed kind of a few of them and they were, they were really cute. I liked what she was showing. So I was like, I, th and I think I might want that one. Um, but she only shows a few of them. And so I just wanted to see the rest. So to assuage my curiosity, I will just buy it. <laughs> and I will look if I can get into it. Gracious. Here we go. And I wanted to understand what was, so she was showing it. You could see the one. But there's stuff on the back. So this one, oh, and the back of that one's different. That's a, it's meant to represent another one. So two, that's two, it looks like a banana. These are super cute. That's what she meant. She was kind of t saying that the back of them and um, like she showed the two and I wasn't sure what it was. So, the kiwi, these are really cute. So, you're going to get, I like those lemons. I tell you, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> cute pineapple. I know I'm going quickly. If there's something you want to see more of, please just, you know, pause. We live in such an interesting world now, isn't it? I mean, when I was growing up, this was all like some futuristic crazy stuff. What do you mean pause the video? 
in a video. I mean, I think the first VHS machines came out when you could actually see your own, you know, see movies at home. I was absolutely a teenager when those came out. Heck, we had one of the first Pong games, which is crazy. I was very little, but we did. So it's just wild to me that, you know, I can just stop a video if I want to or look more deeply or I can actually enhance it so I can see it closer. I think I take it for granted most of the time. And then every once in a while, it just strikes me how different it is. How far we've come, I suppose. And now there's the AI stuff, which is just... Whoosh. Um, let me see. I think I showed you all of those. Let me put that in there. I'm going to put this down here. So I have that one out of the way. Yay, I can get to stuff. Next, I want to show you... I'll move that out of the way. Um, but I want to show you some of the really amazing name brand that I found. So we found, we have picked up some of these great bowls before. These we're pretty sure are from, um, Bath and Body Works. Which side does that go on? That's this way. It goes this way. Um, from the Bath and Body Works when they closed or when they moved their stores. They're beautiful. These are really nice. I think we looked these up and they were worth, I don't know, maybe well over 10 to $20 a bowl. Um, so this, let me pull the bottom off so you can see the other markings because I have a tendency. This is dishwasher safe, microwave safe. Um, it is made by, it's Meritage. That one's Meritage. So I thought this one was really, really pretty. Um, we have purchased a few others because we needed to start replacing some of our... Um, I'm just doing a quick scan. Yep. Making sure uh, we needed to replace things. Now, again, keep in mind, everything I've shown you is $1.25. There's only one thing I bought that was not $1.25. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, so that was pretty exciting. And then this was very exciting. So we have purchased, um, Big Brit and I had purchased some of the smaller plates. They're more like a salad plate. They're not a tiny. Um, they're a decent size. They're pretty close to this size round. But this is more like, I mean, you could, you could call it a salad bowl. I don't know what they call it. They call it a soup plate. Um, so yes, you could do your soups in here. To me, it's more of a pasta plate. This is the kind of thing I want my pasta in. So really super cool. Really super cool. Um, so I bought four of these to go with ours. And I kind of think that these two go together. And we have another blue that goes with this. So if I find the dinner plates, we're golden. And this is... This is Nautica. I mean, this is, I certainly believe Nautica to be a good brand name. Somebody who does, I'm trying to get this bottom thing off. These are so hard to get off. I'm going to see if I can get this off. Kate asked me what it was made of. This one does not say what it's made of. When I was growing up, the best stuff was, um, I want to say stoneware. That 60s stoneware, man, I think it's still around. You could not break it, even if you tried. Just like I can't get, I'm using my scraper and I am not able to get this off. So we're going to have to soak that off and see if we can find, you know, try to get to the information under there. I'm going to stop. Really, I'm going to stop in just a minute. Wow, there doesn't look like there's any information under there. So I'm going to have to check these online and make sure they're dishwasher safe and um, and microwave oven safe. Because I haven't gotten to it yet. It may still be, I can't, that's as far as I can get. Um, so, but we'll take a look at those. So those are going to go straight to the kitchen to be washed. Okay, now... I may or may not have, I think there actually is more in some of these bags. Let me, let me do a quick scan here. Oh, look at that. I knew I bought four of those. So those are the other two. Sometimes they use, do your Dollar Tree sometimes use like a ridiculous number of bags? Oh, so I want to tell you, so when I found these, 
most of them didn't have tops. I had to go hunting through the different sizes to find the tops. There was like no section of tops sitting there, but they were clearly intended to have a top with them because maybe a third of them had the tops. So I just had to, and they're all the tops are clear. So I just had to make sure I had tops. So if you pick those up, just, you know, keep that in mind. You may have to look for the tops. And they, you know, the, um, the clerk certainly confirmed that they should have tops. So I know it may, so little Brit is not allowed to have soda most of the time. He drinks water and milk. Um, sometimes he drinks like a flavored water, but uh, like the vitamin water. But we've always been really cautious about his soda intake. I'm sorry, it's getting very hot. Whew, there we go. So we've always been really cautious about his soda intake. Um, but occasionally I'll buy him something special sometime on the weekends. So I did buy him two Jones sodas, um, berry lemonade and green apple soda. He really likes these, especially when he's watching Fallout. Which is, have you all watched the Fallout series? I think it's on Prime. It certainly follows the video game. It's gross. <laughs> it's so gross. There are parts of it that are interesting, but there are parts of it that I'm just like, you know, I'm just too old to watch this. I'm too old to watch this gruesome. I don't want to see it. That's just me. If you like the video games, if you like the show, uh, it follow, apparently it follows it relatively closely. Um, I did get this power stick body spray because um, I wanted to see so oh you're supposed to be able to spray it anyway. oh I really really like that I like that um, no animal testing um Paraben free. Do you, I don't know what that is. Oh, dye free. <laughs> it's tiny. Um, that's they had a bunch of these, but they were kind of hidden. I like that. I think I might get more. I really like the smell of that. This was uh, this one's called soft floral, and it is. It's not overpowering. So many of these. Oh my word! I talked about it before. They're just like oh, choking on them. Okay, so the last thing I got were a ton, not that I bought a found a bunch of the matching ones, but a ton of their canvas prints. Um, so something like this, this is part of their new Charlotte Living. I was super excited to find some of these, but I found them like all over the store. They were not with the Shore Living, a few were. Mostly I was finding them just like everywhere. Um, my one store that used to be my favorite when the manager left that store and went to another one, actually the one closer to me, um, he had just made sure that that store was immaculate and now it's a hot mess. They're just like stacks and, you know, but the other one is immaculate again. So, um, so I think I showed you this one. I made this out of something like this. And then last night, I was super excited to make this cute little bag out of two different, these are actually, I believe, these are slightly different prints. So if you look at the designs on those, these are two different ones that I found. They were the same size. Um, I will have a video coming out on how to make this bag, not this one in particular. I, you can't always find these prints again. I was lucky to find two. I found one today when I was out and about and I decided not to buy a single, um, but I really like the way this one came together. I love having just the simple soft pink on the inside. I made an extra lip for it so it's meant to stay turned over like that. Um, so I really like that one. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you, you know, you want to see the videos on these. I do have some coming out. I am also working on, so I, I've done this one, um, that one. There's another one around here. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Um, that Those are both lined. This one I did, and it's not lined. Um, I had been worried about getting some of the creases out. I found out how to get rid of the creases, and it's honestly super simple. So I've got that one. 
So I'm really excited about these. Um, I'm doing these for my shows coming up. We'll see how well received they are. Um, in my last, if you did, if you didn't see my last haul, you might want to like take a quick look at it because um, I showed you a bunch of the other pictures that I got. Very excited. Um, and I forgot to show you this. This is the only material I bought, but I just really loved that color. Um, and I think it's going to go well with some of the, um, to do the um, lining for some of the bags and things that I'm going to have coming out in these lines. Like this. Wouldn't this be pretty inside that? Maybe. Okay. So I'm going to show you all the ones I got. I got a lot. And at times I was able to find duplicates. Some of the bags I'm going to do a different backing. Some of them I want to do the same. Uh, like with this one, this has the same front and back. I really, really love this one. I actually think I'm going to keep that one. I like too much of it. Um, so I found another marbleized one. I couldn't find any more of the pink and gold. Um, I found this one, which I thought this is going to be really cute. I'll make a little bag like the like the one I just showed you. Uh, won't that be cute for a child's nursery? I think that's going to be adorable for a child's nursery. I definitely want to make that one. These are just so wonderful for the um, just for the season that we're about to go into. And these two. Now I did find. I was super excited to find two of these. Just a very bucolic scene. You got a little river and you got these beautiful trees. I thought that one was very nice. Probably going to be a bag. Um, I love this one. Y'all know how I love my cherry blossoms. I think this is a, actually not a cherry blossom. I think it is a... Um, oh, good Lord. I can't think of the name. It's the uh, um, state flower for uh, Virginia. And I cannot think of the name. Drives me nuts. Uh, anyway, very, very pretty. Um, then what else did I find here? This one was an unusual find. I'm going to do this one as a bag, and then I'm going to do a different background. I made it with jeans on the back of this one. I talked about doing jeans before. Again, I found singles of most of these, but this one, the Stay Salty, I thought that's going to make a cute smaller, like a little... Um, crossbody bag. Just again, a really nice scene. Um, I did find this. This is not the same as the last ones, but I still like it. I think it's, it's very similar. It's, it's enough. It's similar enough that I was hoping, I don't know. Did I find two of those? I think I was looking for two of those because I really want, I really like this one as a back to back. Uh, so I'll see if I can find another one. Sometimes I just have to buy one and hope for the best. I found a turtle. I actually think that I may have already found one of these. I'll have to look back through my other ones because now I've got quite a collection of these. And it takes a little while to take them apart. There's a video about how to take them apart and use them. Um, isn't that one pretty? I just thought that one was cute. I'm not sure... Y'all tell me. Let's let's vote. Should I turn this into a zipper tote? Should I turn it into like a little box um, a basket that I just showed you? Should I turn it into a bag? Like a crossbody bag? You tell me what you want me to make out of this and I will make it. Um, oh, isn't this guy cute? I love this seahorse. He would be very cute. I wonder, I don't think I could do that one. I'm trying to, so if I can't find two of the same, I need to find two, I'm either going to find something different. And I have a lot of denim at the moment. I wonder, no, I don't think that would work. Now, I got to think about that one. It's not going to work. And I found the boats. Now, is that two of the boats? Yes. So this one I can make a back to back. Maybe. Don't know. Yes, I've got quite a stack here. They do go together very quickly. This stuff sews like a dream. And it has that nice kind of um, almost vinyl-y out. Not like yucky vinyl. It's hard to explain. 
it's it it feels kind of a rich touch to it i think that's what i think this one is super cute so uh kate had an idea about making a larger tote bag and using something um one of the smaller prints on the outside of the tote bag as a pocket i think that's a fabulous idea so i think that might be what i do with that one I thought this would make a really nice zipper bag if I can find another one like it. Because I do think for a zipper bag, I want the two pieces to be the same. I don't think they all need to be. I think I'm going to be doing some mixing and matching. I did find these two. They are not exactly the same, but I'm okay with that. Um, I think back to back, maybe like that. I think back to back, that's going to be really nice. Um, but it's, it's not going to be the exact match. It just matches anyway. Oh, look what I did find. Is this the same? No, that's different. I did find two of these. I do like these. And again, I haven't decided. That's going to be a bag or a zipper bag. And I found another one. That's not another one. That's different from the last one I showed you. But would this go... I've got to go through the stack now with, I wonder if it would go, no, well, they have different, no, no, I think those are two different, okay, but I will find some things for them, and then I bought a couple more of these, these are just some very simple scenes, um, I like the landscape of it, this one's not landscape. I have to figure this one out, but I'm wondering if I can turn this into a small, like um, uh, a tiny thing for business cards. That's what I'm thinking about that one. And then we have, again, this one, and I love these. I think these are really, really nice. I'm kind of wondering if I could do a, uh, I don't know. Some, one's just so much brighter than the other. Um, Probably not. I do have a thing about matchy sometimes. Sometimes I want matchy and sometimes I don't. That's all of the canvas pictures that I found today. Except for this one. I picked up this one. This one was $5. They had a bunch. Uh, but almost all of the other ones, they did, I only had one of these... They had one that I think was like a facial one, and then they had a whole pile of the Eiffel Towers. This was more to my liking, um, and I do like it, actually. I'm not, maybe it's New York. Um, I am not sure if I'm going to keep it together or if I'm going to take it apart, cut it down the middle, and turn it into one big bag. It was $5, but it would make a large bag or a very decent sized one. So I've got to think about this one, um, how I'm going to use that one. Holy cow, that's it. That was an hour. I should have reminded you all to get a drink and settle in for the day. Um, I hope you liked it and found some interesting things. Uh, I'm super excited to show you more of what I'm doing with these canvas prints. I am really enjoying using them and I just like the effect that I'm getting at with them. Um, so I've got those coming. I am going to uh, later this week or maybe even tomorrow, I'm going to pull out what I'm what I'm taking to the show for um, next week. And I will uh, try to do a video on that so you can see ahead of time what we're taking. I think we're going to take the tent out, set it up, and then just see how we're going to lay out and do things at this next show. That's it. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate your comments and and just everything. Everything. Y'all are wonderful. Anyway, I will see you next time, I hope. Cheers.